just chill, enjoy this accidental freedom that you have. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a hair video or talking twist. But today, when I post this, it's officially been a year of talking and twisting. Crowd goes wild. It's so crazy to me because I can't believe that. I can't believe that. And I only realized that because I was looking at the video that I did a year ago wearing this very shirt, feeling peachy. And I was like, oh, my hair was like up to here like struggling like look how much it's grown in a year like sometimes i need pictures to realize it's actually growing so i decided for my year ish anniversary because i actually don't know the date i will come and talk into a switch about like back the first talking to us yo i got that idea from toby and now he's like an extreme star. Toby and Wiggly, him and his uh, wife used to do Get Twisted Sundays where she would twist his hair and he would freestyle. And I was like, well, I'm not going to freestyle. <laughs> but I could twist my hair. So I'm going out of town this weekend. And I was like, let me twist my hair. If I feel like taking it out, then I got a bomb twist out. If I don't, then I just got some bomb mini twists. So... I'm trying to keep them small, but my fingers be tight. So they're relatively small. Some of them are a lot of different sizes, but it's whatever. So my first talking twist, I was talking about Kanye West running for president. Thank God that didn't work out. <laughs> we did not need Yeezy in the White House. That would have been a hot mess. He was a lot has changed for him in a year. He was running for president, going crazy on the tweets, and now he's getting a divorce. And not on Twitter. I guess he probably will soon because he has an album coming out, which I am actually excited to hear. People make really good music after like a heartbreak and a breakup. So I'm here for that. I was also talking about entanglements with Jada Pinkett Smith. My girl, a year later, she comes out with a help home what is it a healthcare line a hy hygienic line how do you say that with toothpaste body wash deodorant i just bought another one the other day crazy how much stuff has changed in the year now i'm buying her deodorant and no one is talking about entanglements no one even cares that she was messing with august alcina <laughs> uh, i think that's i can't remember if i was talking about anything else but I really was like, what am I going to talk about today? And insert Bill Cosby. Y'all, when I tell you I am a Cosby kid, like, I don't know when Cosby originally came out, but I guess I was catching, like, the end of it. And I would watch it, like, how people watch Martin. I was obsessed, obsessed with it to the point where my parents bought me DVDs for Christmas. It was, like, all the seasons. I think I have all the seasons and then i have one that's like a compilation of the best <laughs> of the best uh moments i can watch it like yesterday and still crack up it's such a good show but the problem is it's hard to sometimes separate the man from the show so like who i you know more in a sense is heathcliff huxtable but who's the one that was in jail now that's bill cosby so he is now out of jail because there was a mistake, not because he's not guilty, but because they weren't supposed to open up a closed case that happened year, years ago, same accusations. And they did. So party fell on them. And so now he is home chilling and honestly because his health seemed like it was deteriorating i was like okay he's gonna come home and die like i'm not mad at that but now i hear he's trying to do like stand up and i'm like no bill mm -mm. uh-uh i'm not here for that i'm not here for that bro you're not innocent like sit down and chill um i'm pretty sure he needs well i don't know i don't know if i think he needs money but sit down and chill be at home with your wife like he was in jail for like three to four years I just feel like when you come out, it's like OJ, like 
you they let you out man white people don't want you to be out black some black people don't want you to be out like just chill enjoy this accidental freedom that you got enjoy the kids grandkids whatever whoever's still messing with you do not go on some comedic tour i don't i don't know i know that's part of the ego i know that's what they're used to i know that's how he knows how to make money but at this stage in the game dog you don't have it like that anymore like even doing this video, I was like nervous to even talk about Bill because a lot of people are like, he's a rapist and have strong feelings and I completely get that. I'm not gonna you know, talk about whether he's wrong or he's right. I just know that he is not seen as innocent in the eyes of the court and the eyes of a lot of people. So you need to chill, stay home and shut your mouth, <laughs> essentially like, a year later, I'm still using melanin hair care. <laughs> I'm using um, the Twist Elongating Styling Cream. I like it for twisting on dry hair because it, my twists still feel moisturized when I take it out. Um, they're not. This isn't like uh, sticky like gel, and then you know they're just still soft. So I do like it. I think if you want a stronger hold. I stick to that saying like you probably would want to use something else but this works for me because these twists will probably be in until friday and today is monday so works for me um what else is going on in the world i don't even know honey i don't even know i talked about it a little bit before but jennifer and ben affleck is still popular topic i still am like shocked that she is with him and went backwards like that is just amazing to me and like with no time to kind of heal after a breakup but that's jenny lolo for you sisk is like never 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 single um instagram has changed a few things they're trying to keep up with the joneses how do y'all feel about reels i love reels i love taking videos i love to capture like videos and pictures and look back and like laugh and be like oh i'm so funny um or like travel vlogs if you know you know my last one so i like the idea of like reels and video content it's a little strange though because instagram has been such a picture app for so long like what's a big deal to get ig stories and here it's like a video app tiktok is still fun though TikTok is still the main one. I don't know if IG can compete with that. I feel like a year later and YouTube has changed a lot. I didn't meet my year goal of being monetized, which is, that's okay. I'm gonna just keep posting when I want to and posting videos that I wanna post and hopefully one day it will happen. But um, I think shorts has taken over a lot. It's just crazy to see YouTube shorts and short content when it's like usually it was like the longer the video on YouTube the more money you made so I'm all twisted up who knows how many this is I may go back and fix a few of them sometimes they get a little twisted but cannot believe the hair growth it's still not nipple length which is my goal length but like it's so much longer than it was. I put my hair in a ponytail and I feel like it's been healthier. I actually feel like coming here and making videos has like added to the health of my hair because now I'm more aware and take better care of it. So talking to us probably has given me a lot of protective style growth and health. So I am happy for talking to us today. As always, thanks for watching. I'm gonna insert some clips to see what I look like a year ago. Hopefully, I didn't gain that much weight. But anyway, thanks for talking to us and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.